Hey guys, it's Melissa and I'm going to be doing um, a review and demo video using the Wet n Wild coverall. So as you can tell, I have no makeup on. A little scary. So yeah. And um, I didn't put any primer on or anything. I just put um, sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus spray. I let it dry. So... I just put some on the back of my hand. And you know me what smells. This one just smells like, you know, regular. Regular smell that foundation smell like. And I'm just using my um my crown brush my crown brush, the little round kabuki. And it's not a, it's not very runny, see how it's just staying there. But I think the coverage is pretty good for a wet and wild foundation, you know. I didn't think I was going to like it at all. But I'll do one half of my face and then... But it blends really well on my face. So that's a good, a good thing. But this is a good one, I would think, for like summertime just to put like something on your face to kind of um, make it look a little better than not having any makeup on, you know? And it's very buildable too. So like if this is too sheer of a coverage, you can just, you know, put some more on. So there. So there's one half of my face with it and the other half without it. So I think it blends it blends really well and it feels pretty light. So there's like I said one side and the other. Let's put some more. And it's it feels like some thick stuff. Um which I like that it's not like running down my arm. The only um, bad thing is they don't have a big range of colors. But I mean, for the price that you pay, you know. Because I think it's like three to four bucks. But I could be wrong. It could be four or five bucks. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I set the price in my haul video when I purchased it because they had it. I got it at Walgreens and they had it on sale. Buy one Wet n Wild product, get the other one 50% off. And I don't, I didn't put any. I'm not gonna put any concealer on or anything. That way, you can just see the coverage. Um, the cover all gives. So that's my whole face with just one layer of coverage. And I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes your face, your skin look a little flawless, you know? It kind of covers the, gives you the minimal coverage that you, are, you need. That you need. <clears throat> so, yeah. So we'll just do one layer of the foundation and then, um... I'm going to go ahead and use the um, pressed powder. Ew. And if you're wondering, the color I got on the foundation is... Where is it? Well, that's weird. It doesn't have a name on it. Oh, the right in my face. 819 Medium. And I got the powder in 826B Medium Tan. And I've really been loving both of these. The powder is pretty freaking amazing. So it comes with a sponge, but you know, I don't use that. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Kabuki. 
and then I just buff it all in. And this brush is amazing, by the way, even though it's not wet and wow, but I don't know why I waited so long to buy it. It's so inexpensive. And it's so soft. I've been using it ever since. And that was one of the things I got in my haul also. So I think the powder covers up. I mean, it does what it says. It cover all. It's covering all my imperfections on my face. So, let me get closer so you can see. I mean, for me not having any concealer on, it covers it pretty good. La la la. So, would I recommend this product? Definitely. I mean, the price. You can't beat the price. And especially when they're on sale. Um, like I said, I got it when it was buy one, get one 50% off. So, I got this for like two, three bucks. So, um, price. Thumbs up. Great. Um, the coverage it gives, I think it's pretty darn good. Like I said, you can build up. If you want more coverage, just put another layer and keep it going. You know, build it up as much as you want. Um, the powder, oh, I'm losing my train of thought. The powder's also good. I mean, it blends well. It feels good on your face. It feel, it doesn't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on, you know. And you can kind of, it still shows like your natural skin coming through, um, which I like. Like I said, um, in the summertime, I probably would just use these two and, you know, of course, probably put some mascara on or something. But, I mean, I think it looks great um, for it being wet and wild. You can't go wrong. Wet and wild is stepping up their game. I like it. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. So, um, especially if it's on sale, go pick it up or try it out. I think it would be good for summer just because it's light, you know, and... Um, the coverage lasts, it lasts for a good, you know, about three to four hours, I think, um, when I've been wearing, I wore it all week to work, um, and I think it, you know, it lasted pretty good for it being a Wet n' Wild product, so, Wet n' Wild, I'm loving you, man, loving ya, so yeah, so there is my review and demo of the coverall, and I don't think I said it enough, but I would recommend this product, so, Go pick it up and um, let me know what else you guys want me to film and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Thank you.